And again, if I was to give all of this land, like just annex all of it, Tonic Order, Wallachia, Serbia, Mecklenburg, Hungary. I mean, mostly countries that already hate us. So I'm honestly not that concerned about it. But of course, all of this will go to Moldovia. I'm sure they'll have an okay time sphering and coring all this. Maybe they can even form Romania. I don't know. Okay, and then this all goes to Moldovia. Congratulations, you can take all of this. It'll be 83. Some people hate me a little bit, but it's still not that bad. How old, how old is my king? 43, because he's not that old right now. One mercantilism for 95 gold. That seems fine. Okay, so we're going to kill off the enemy troops. We've we finished our siege of Krakow. Serbia. You should leave the war. Okay, we finished off another siege. You can come here. Again, like, we, we should have allowed the AI just to walk through Hungary and take our stuff. It's like a Bosnian separatist. Lithuania is trying their damnedest, but I don't think it's going to work very well for them. Okay, 139 out of 40. We're at 70%. Somebody died. Are you? Okay, you're the, you're the less good leader. Okay, 1, 2, 1. It's also not great. What can we do with the papacy? How much influence do I have right now? I have maybe zero because I haven't been doing anything with this. Chance 37% for the Pope. Where am I? I have 38. Okay, I have 17% chance of doing this. You are now very much dead. I still don't know how you have like 25%. I think I gotta disagree with that there. Clergy, 10 prestige. Thank you for the prestige. I need that to make sure that these people don't try to inherit my throne. And the clergy, they're a little bit upset with us. Okay. I understand that. 125 out of 139. Once we take back this, we should be looking a little bit better. I guess I can send troops over here to try to kill the seven stack and see if we can get that done. Okay, you're at zero. Like, Serbia, you don't... Yeah, get out of here. I have no reason to even be at war with you. Yeah, I think we're saying next everything. And also give me money. Okay, Moldovia, you're looking pretty good. Um, we will then decrease military spending. You're now Wallachian separatist. But, I mean, you're not in my country, so... I think you're going to go to Wallachia. But in Moldovia, you're basically, like, right now, you are World War I Romania. So I'm hoping... And to the Castile and Civil War, congratulations, Castile, for... Uh, not imploding. I'll give you uh, a nice pat on the back in the future. And the rebels disappeared or they died. One of the two, and I don't know which one it is. Look, do you guys want something? More organization. No income from wool. I don't know how much wool we even have in the country, to be honest. Five favorite influence now. Favorite influence at least 20. Okay, I did spend most of my points. We could lose 10 crown land, which I don't think we can really afford to lose right now. 
And we can enact a government reform. Max promoted cultures or monthly autonomy change. I think we're going to go for the max reformed cultures. Because we look at our cultural map mode. Like, there's so much Ruthenian, there's a lot of Lithuanian, there's a lot of Belarusian as well in uh, the PLC, once it actually forms. So, I mean, if we have Polish, Prussian, Lithuanian, Belarusian, Ruthenian all accepted. 23 for some more prestige for, like, 20 years? Yeah, that's, that's 20 prestige for uh, 23 ducats, which I think seems okay. Game money. Like, who has, who has all this crown land? Who do you think I am having like a trillion points of crown land? Rather mind. By the way, when does our truth to you expire? Our truth to you expires in 79. That is six years from now. Which I will admit is, is a bit. And you guys hate me, but you're not going to form a coalition against me quite yet, which is nice. Brandenburg has been utterly defeated. Like they're just having a bad, bad time. They lost to Stetton. Okay, sure, the Sens had the backing of the Austrians, but still, they lost to Stettin. Just a really, uh, a poor showing there. You know, I'm not gonna ally you. I feel like that's not in my best interest. I mean, right now, Lithuania, Moldova, Bohemia. You're still not allied. What about Denmark? You're loyal towards Denmark. The last jousting tournament. We're all of armies. Honestly, I think it's okay. I have 700 admin points. I, I should be spending those on something. Do I have anything I can core? Because, I mean, how far? Like, we are... We're still six years ahead of time on this. Our capital region is not even considered a core. Which is funny. Okay, so we'll get you here. I mean, you're already all cores, right? Because of uh, our other guy. You're already a state of mine. Okay, so you made more states, but I didn't really spend my admin points. I could buy a level of stability for 197. You know, that's really expensive. So no, I'm not going to do that. Still got a foreign heir, spend our prestige on that. What can I spend our admin points on? Because, I mean, like, to me, it makes sense just to rush my way to forming the, the uh, PLC as fast as possible. You want to attack Theodoro. I mean, the, the Ottomans are looking pretty strong. And we do technically border them, which is a little bit of a threat. Orthodox Zealots have risen up. Oh, again, Lithu that's Lithuania's problem. Oh, so let's turn off these fortresses that we took back, because they're probably costing us a pretty penny. So, I mean, we're making decent money. Our income right now is 20.57. I would like more than that, uh, of course. I'm just trying to think, like, how do we... I mean, you're, you're really married to the Austrians, which makes a an attack against you way more risky. Because yeah, Austria has 51,000 men, which is pretty good. Honestly, do I do I do for like do I go for it? Honestly, yeah. And then we will get an admin idea group. Innovation is usually pretty good. So we have trade and innovation, which I think combined give us. Which combined gives us. Nothing, they don't mix. Okay, lovely. So that more innovation gain, the 10% cheaper tech cost and institution cost is going to be really good. The leaders of upkeep, advisor cost going down. Overall, pretty good. Mostly, I think, just even for um, scientific revolution. Makes our life just better. Okay, we'll keep on spending money. Keep on trying to get as many of these places uh, Catholic as possible. We don't, want, we don't want too many people who are, like, the wrong religion in our country. It, it just makes things, uh, complicated. Our truce of Livonia's already expired. Lithuania 
has more cores against the Teutonic Order. But I think we need to at least wait a little bit of time to, um... Is that Livonia? Who's this? That's the Great Horde. Okay. Are you the Great Horde? Yeah. If anything, I want to actually be improving our relationship with you. Never mind. You're my rival. Well, you're, you're rivaling me. I'm not rivaling you in return. Which means understandable. Musky can really only expand into Lithuania if they want to come further into Europe. Like, how's institution spread? Like, is it is it that far out yet? Not really. Like, at all. Okay, we got 31 out of 31 provinces. What I'm interested in looking at is uh, everybody's tech. Like, I feel like we're doing pretty well. Yeah, again, we are number one. Our demo points lagging behind a little bit, but we're one of the most advanced countries on Earth. And I will consider that to be a victory. You're, yeah, we're 17 years ahead on Tech 8. Which, it's like, it's like 1530-ish is when Tech 10 becomes available. So I would, again, we, we I, I do want to try to beeline our way towards, um... Forming the Lithuanian Commonwealth as fast as possible. Also, being able to get to Military Tech uh, 7, getting cannons, can really, really, really boost your power. Is there anybody actually who has Tech 7 Military? Yes. Naples. And I think that's it. So Naples can build artillery pieces right now. Which does put them at a slight edge against some of their neighbors. But I mean, again, artillery pieces are very expensive. Like, they're very expensive to actually maintain. So see if they can actually, you know, effectively do that. Look, manpower modifier. Point 0.2. It's actually not that great. Point 0.2 on you. Okay, so let's upgrade it to... Uh, trade ports in our country. And let's also go uh, up to speed 5. Brandenburg, uh, Brandenburg just embraced the Renaissance, really? Seems a little bit late for that, don't you think? I would have done it at least a while ago. I mean, I did do it a while ago. Their innovation right now is at 4.8. All power cost is 0.4. I don't know what's really considered a good innovation cost. I don't remember. Okay, I have the money for this. We can go to war with Riga, which we do have a cost of belly against. Lithuania could expand to these two provinces. I mean, Lithuania, you are a good province, right? Yeah, Natural Harbor. I'm guessing you now, yeah, you have Tech 7 as well. What if we declare war on you? You're in a trade league, which means you won't be happy. Okay. Okay, apparently everybody like, doesn't like Poland. I'm trying my best, okay? Okay, we get a little bit of tax unrest or a little bit of tax loss. Not not the worst thing in the world. I'm, I'm not that worried about it. To be quite honest with you. I mean, Riga would exact vassalization. Military alliance plus 190. And you have to be at peace. I mean... They might be a nice puppet after we annex Lithuania. Maybe feed them, like, this area here. Could it be a, uh... Interesting choice for sure. Okay, let's not prove relationship to you. Prove relationship with the Ottoman Empire makes sense. Crimea is a puppet of the Ottomans, so you know attacking them would just, I think, be a mistake on our part. Our truly expires in 79. It expires in about a year and a half. So being a war there and just finishing them off for good. 
You know, I, I, I think that's definitely in the cards. But just not quite yet. We're now making 20.92. I would like to increase our, um, our trading power if we could. Okay, it gets Patreon of the Arts. You're going to give us more production efficiency, which might make us a little bit more money. Yes, military tech 7. Allows us to build artillery pieces. And how expensive are they? 30 each. I mean, you gotta do, though. Let's build at least... Let's build two per army to start with. I mean, the ratio is not gonna be great, but again, like, not that many people are gonna be having artillery that matters. Okay. We don't care about reform that much. They're at 82%. And I think in 1500 is when Age of Reformation really starts kicking in. How are we going to um, deal with the Reformation? I'm not too sure yet. Okay, we'll go with one extra merchant. Thank you very much. Combine with you, combine with you, go back to this fort. So, trade. We have a merchant here, merchant here. Well, let's see. You're going to be there in 10 days. We have absolutely no power in the Crimea. Do we have any... Like, where do we have power? Well, we have some here, but we're already, you know, putting pushing trade. Because right now, from trade, we're making 4.08. Bring you back. 4.28, slightly more. Serbia is applying some pressure. The thing is, like, our merchants really can't do too much. At least right now. Like, once we get bigger, we'll be, uh... We're at 21.9. We need to get a 25.12 like, or something in order to uh, complete our one uh, quest. Yeah, just keep on trying to bring as many people into the fold as humanly possible. Our merchants, or our non merchants, our uh, guys should be doing something. Let's improve relations with you as much as we can. And honestly, Austria? Not Austria. F France? Not France. Sweden. They do like us. Well, they, they're friendly towards us. Their opinion is not isn't a negative, but... They have positive thoughts. Military's and Our Democrats entered a coalition against us. Possible succession war. With who? I wonder how this would work. I think I backed down. Okay, I was, I was going to save to try to do this, but... Austria's now a great power. You're now in a personal union. Okay, that... Maybe I should have tried to contest it. Well, the thing is, like, they're very, very big. And they're very, very scary. So we need a new rival, then. So I guess... Why not rival... Muscovy back. They're already rivaling us. So it seems like a, a match made in heaven. Yeah, maybe we should have tried to uh, fight against that. I don't know if we have enough troops, though. Let's see. 35, 16. But you're, you're calling your allies as well, Austria? Maybe somebody else would attack the Austrians as well, but... Now you have 14. Yeah, I mean, if we had a Polish, Lithuanian, Hungarian, uh, and I guess Moldova as well, would have been pretty powerful. 
But again, I have to go to work in about an hour from now, so I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this stream for today. We'll play a little bit more, of course, uh, tomorrow morning. But for now, have a great day. Uh, have a great night. All that good stuff. And goodbye.